Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and I'm here today with Camry. Yay for names! We get to call you a name! Yeah! She's been so excited, so excited. She's like, I'm so tired of being CGH3. So yay for Camry. Today we're going to show you how to do a 3D flower bun, which is a takeoff of another hairstyle that we've already done, but it twists it and morphs it up and makes it even more fun and a totally original hairdo in the end. Now to begin this hairstyle, I've gone ahead and pulled her hair up into a nice high ponytail and I'm going to begin by doing a 3D round braid. If you're not familiar with this technique, so I'm not going to explain it thoroughly here, click the description box below because I'll put a link to our old video that explains it much more in detail than I'm going to right now. But basically you split the ponytail into four pieces and you can see I'm going to put a finger between each piece and then this is piece two and this is piece four. I'm going to pick two up, then four up and flip the next two. And I'm gonna go back here and pick up two and four and flip. And two and four and flip. So I'm counting now at this point, one, two, three, four. So this is two again, and this is four and flip. And you go all the way down the hair strand doing that. And it's rather quick. We love this hairstyle in the morning because it's so speedy and it looks amazing. And you create this 3D round braid, which is the other video we have already. Like this. Now, that's the tutorial we had before, was just the 3D round braid. But this time we're gonna go back and I'm gonna pancake all the way up. So I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna pull them out pretty far as long as I'm not tugging the hair completely out of the braid. I want them pretty significantly pancaked all the way up. So right now you can just see I'm doing the side pieces. What looks like the sides to me anyway, because I'm looking at them straight on. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm you can see this front piece here and this back piece here and I'm gonna pancake those as well. So that all four sections of this round braid should be nice and puffy. and really stretched out all the way up. And now I'm just gonna go back even and just tug and pull and really pop them. Like I said, as much as you can without pulling them completely out. Okay, when you've got them nice and puffy and full, then I'm gonna take it and I'm going to basically create this really fun flower. So I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna pin right here as I go because I want this to stay laying pretty flat. So I'm gonna lay that bump down, pin it, and then I'm gonna take this and continue to wrap it around and you can continue to pin as you go. All the way up until you run out of hair, which I'm going to do right here at the top, it looks like. A couple more. I'm gonna hide these ends. One more. Finish off our ends. And then I'm gonna go back and to add to the flower effect, I'm just gonna pull anywhere I can and loosen it even more to make it look like little flower petals kind of popping out right through there. So it looks like a little flower petal. And we get that effect little piece right here, tip way back for me. Thank you. Get this one right here, the top. And it creates this really fun flower effect on the back of the hair. Then you can just take some spray wax or some hairspray 
to just help hold that all in place and make it really pretty. And you could even do a really fun bow on the side if you had one or something cute or just leave it like it is or even put in some little twisty jewels. Oh, so many options. In the final spin, I love the way this turns out. I love it, love it, love it. And I think it would be even more cute, maybe if you're a little older, you want a more grown up look, if you did really soft in the front, curls going into the ponytail, would really turn it into more of an updo or a wedding look as opposed to like just a daytime look like she's wearing, because she's a little bit younger. Lots and lots and lots of options with this one. Really fun ways to play it up. Let me see what you guys do. Make sure and hashtag it so I can see them. I would love that. Now, if you guys missed our announcement, our app is now live. It's available both in iTunes and Google Play. I'll put links in the description box below to it as well at the end of the video. Make sure you go check it out. It's amazing. I love it. There's so much blood, sweat, and tears into this app. We've been working on it forever. So go check it out, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. I forgot to tell you guys that I have another Mom's Minute up, so go check it out here. You can click on this over on the Mom's View channel. It's about disappointing your parents when you don't want to do an activity that they want you to do and how to deal with that. So it's kind of an interesting topic. See you guys next Sunday. Bye, guys. Break, I will, but I'm gonna run right up this hill. My next piece of advice would be to communicate. You guys have heard this from me over and over and over. Sit down with your mom, have an honest conversation, tell her how you feel, explain why you feel that way. Great big plans. <gasps> Do you want me to hold, you can hold an egg right by its bottom like it just laid. And you can have a surprise face. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile